How many ladies a man can keep as his wife? Shalla, four. Four, okay. Mr. MK, what is the condition a man needs to fulfill if he wants to have more than one wife? Sir, please, I beg your pardon. Okay, Mr. Tanko, do you know the answer? No, um, the person should be justice, like be able to do fair and treat them well, if you have the ability to treat them well, yes. it just to them, then you can marry more than one. Yes, first thing, he need to treat them equally. Second thing, he need to give them equal, like equal residence, equal kind of yeah. gifts. Everything must be equal to all of them. No. If he can't fulfill this condition, then he can't marry more than one. Lady. Yeah. <clears throat> Last time we made uh, this task list as well from the Quran class. So I hope you have uh, completed this task until now. So I will write here completed one task, incomplete, zero task. So in this way, you will carry on your task since <clears throat> we have. <coughs> completed this task so we will remove it from this list here we will write only those tasks which are incomplete okay okay we have completed one task alhamdulillah Now, oh, Mr. Tanko, read this ayah number four. First, read Auzubillah, Bismillah. I should read the Arabic and the English. English only. Okay, number four. Uh, it reads, and, I, and give to the woman whom you marry, the Amahar. That is obligatory bridal money given by the husband to his wife at the time of marriage with a good heart. But if the of their own good pleasure, remit any part of it to you, take it and enjoy it without fear of any harm, as Allah has made it lawful. <clears throat> so, here, first thing we are told that the husband should give the mahar to his wife with a good heart, happily. He should not be angry with it, he should not be sad with it, it should give it uh, to his wife happily. But here we have one more thing. If they of their own good pleasure remit any part of it to you, take it. So if a woman herself gives you some part of the mahar, some money from the mahar, some share from the mahar, then you can take it. Otherwise, you cannot take anything from the mahar you cannot even ask for it so here we will write a question can a husband ask anything from 
द महर और वी बेटर मेक इट लिटल बेटर सो कैन द हजबेंड आस्क हिज वाइफ टू गिव हिम एनी थिंग फ्रॉम द महर द आंसर इज नो ही कैन नॉट आस्क द आंसर इज नो ही कैन नॉट आस्क बट इफ द वाइफ हर सेल्फ गिव हिम समथिंग देन ही कैन टेक डैट So the answer is no. He cannot take. The better word is take. Yes. So we can. No, the husband cannot take anything from the mother if she herself give him something. Then he can. Take that thing only. Can I not take or ask? So, Mister M K, what is the answer for first question? The first question: <clears throat> the house, the husband cannot take any part. Cannot ask. the the mahar of his wife okay rather than the, uh, the desire of his wife yes if he herself happily give something then he can take benefit otherwise no no now read the next one number 5 and give not and give not unto the foolish the foolish your property which allah has made a means of means of support for for you but feed and clothe them there is there is and is speak and speak to them the words of kindness and justice okay to so them words of kindness now i read this footnote as well can you hear us i think he has some internet problem so mr nuruddin yusuf Mr. Tanko. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Read this. So, narrated, narrated al Mugi al Mugira bin Shubba. Ready Allah an. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, Allah has forbidden for you one, to be undutiful to your mothers, two, to bury your daughters alive, three. not to pay the rights of the others example zakat charity and four to beg of men i e begging and allah has hated for you one sinful and useless talk like backbiting or that you talk too much about others two to ask too many questions in disputed religious religious matters and three to waste the world by extravagance with lack of wisdom and thinking sahih abu sahil al bukhari volume 3 hadith number 591 okay so here we have this quranic gaya that don't give one to the foolish so basically it means those orphans who don't have any sense at the moment they are just child and they don't know how to take care of their property so what will we do 
we will take care of their property we will feed them we will clothe them with their property and we will speak with them the words of kindness and justice and when they will reach the age of puberty when they will become intelligent then we will give them their property read this sixth one as well it says yes Luis. the and try orphans as regards their intelligence until they reach the age of marriage if then you find some if, if then you find sound judgment in them release their property to them but consume it not wastefully and hastily fearing that they should grow up and whoever amongst the guardian is rich he should take no wages but if he is poor let him have for himself what is just and reasonable according to his labor and when you release their property to them take witnesses in their presence and Allah is all sufficient in taking an account okay so here we will write the question we have probably multiple questions here so first questions what will you do with the property and wealth of the or funds under your guardian ship what will you do with the property and wealth of the orphans under your guardianship so the answer here we have is we will not give the property to the child as child cannot take care of the property and wealth the answer is we cannot or we will not sorry we will not give the property and wealth to the child because a child cannot take care of the property and wealth after that you will write we will feed and clothe the orphan with it we will feed and clothe the orphan with it and we will speak words of kindness and justice with the orphan we will speak the words of kindness and justice with the orphan when they will become intelligent and they will reach the age of marriage then we will give them their property and wealth when they will become intelligent 
and they will reach the age of marriage then we will give them their property and wealth when they will become intelligent and they will reach the age of marriage then we will give them their property and wealth mr kazim adi deji can you hear us mr nuruddin yusuf yeah assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh what is the answer for this question mr yusuf what is the answer of this question can you hear me okay. or not we take if the person is poor she should, the person would take uh, an amount that is justifiable from the wealth but if he is rich he should not take the your answer is wrong did not you write the answer sir did you write the answer that i just told no why you did not write maybe i didn't see it before you said okay bring a notebook and write everything okay without writing you will not benefit from this class it will be just a waste of time for you so first go and bring a notebook then write all these answers then it will benefit you inshallah okay okay mr tanko what is the answer for this question assalam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh mm. the answer is um, that you don't give them you don't give them their property when they are child when they, when they are children okay good and when they grew and reach maturity the age of marriage and they have intelligence that's the only time that you can hand over you you would then hand over their property to them good but uh, and mm -hmm. yes complete but this, but if you are um keeping the property you are taking you are, you are protecting the property you don't spend the property you don't spend the, you don't spend the property unless maybe you are um, poor you don't have anything then you can take amount from your the property as your labor the what the, the, the work we are doing for keeping the property you can just take a little amount that is coming straight with what you are doing as a work and keep it for them but if you are rich you need not to even touch it at all you have uh, missed one very important point from the answer did you write the answer or not i didn't actually write why you did not write i was listening i mean i thought uh no today is the first time i'm joining the class okay um okay so it is your first class so i will tell all of you again in this class mm -hmm. we need to write the answers okay otherwise we okay. will miss the points from the class and then we will be it will be difficult for us to understand the next okay. topics so now oh. i will wait for all of you all of you mm -hmm. first go bring a notebook and then we will continue the class i am waiting right here okay so i will pause the recording so now we will continue the third question can we take 
wage or service charges for protecting the wealth and property of the orphan can we take the wage or service charges for protecting the wealth and property of the orphan according to this chronic aya if we are rich then we should not take wage or service charges for protecting it the answer is if we are rich then we should not take any wage or service charges for protecting it but if we are poor then we can take reasonable wage or service charges from the wealth and property but if we are poor then we can take reasonable wage or service charges from <clears throat> for protecting the wealth and property but we need to remember we need to remember allah is all sufficient in taking account or you can also say but we need to remember allah will take account from us but we need to remember allah will take account from us no mr kazim can you hear us Yes, sir. I can hear you very well. Okay. What is the answer for number three? Uh, we can we can only take uh, wages or service charge if we are poor, and that must be reasonable and commensurate with the work we have done. But if we are rich. There is no need for us to take any charge or wages Good. because Allah is all knowing, and uh, we take it. We make all of us accountable. Good. Did you write down, sir? Yeah, actually, I don't have. I'm not where I have access to pen, but I will do that later. But... Okay, let's go. In the next class, try to bring a notebook. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Sir. Then, in the answer for question number two, you all need to write one more thing that I forget to mention. At the time of releasing the property, make some witness. In the answer for question number two, write number one more thing. At the time of releasing. the property make 
some witness. Then we have number seven. Okay, Mr. Kazim, read the number seven. Okay. There is a share for men and a share for women from what is left by parents and those nearest related, whether the property be small or large, a legal share. So before Islam, there was no share in the inheritance for the women. But here, this Quranic ayah tells us that both son and daughter has a share in the property or wealth, whatever pays you, whether it is small or whether it is large. The girl also must get the share from the property. In your country, uh, does the girl get the share in the property or wealth? Mr. Kazim? Yes, sir. Do the parents give the share to the daughter in the property? In your country? In your country? Yes. Okay, good. But not in the Islamic way. We have different types of sharing in inheritance, especially from where I come from, Yoruba people. It's either you share it equally amongst the children, whether they be male or female, or you share according to the number of wives left behind by the husband. In which case, even if a woman has 10 children and another has just one, you share the property into two and give half to the children of a wife and the other half to the child of the other wife. Is there any possibility for the people to follow the Islamic law of inheritance? Yes, people do now. Okay. Well, Muslims do, but the practice of the customary law uh, of inheritance, you know, is still prevalent in many parts of your rebellion. Okay, let's hope we start following the Islamic law. Inshallah. Inshallah. Amen. So this was the Quranic ayah, which uh, gave the right to women as well in the property of the parents. We will not write anything here, but we will study it in the next topic in detail, inshallah. Then we have number eight. Mr. Nuruddin Yusuf, number eight. Okay. And when the relatives and the orphans and of Masafin before are present at the time of division, give them out of the property and speak to them words of and justice. So, of some scholar believe that this is a, this law is cancelled by another ayah, but a majority still believe that. <clears throat> at the time of division of the property, there should be some share given to the orphans and poor people as well. So it is a not very necessary thing, but it is highly recommended. So we will write a question here. Does the poor people and orphan children what is the spelling of children? 
Yes, children. Does the poor people and orphan children have any share in the inheritance? Inheritance. Does the poor people and orphan children have any share in the inheritance? The answer is, it is recommended to give them some share or usually it is recommended around, I think, maybe one part, but it is not fixed amount and it is not necessary thing but it is recommended so let uh, let's write the answer again it is recommended to give something to the poor and orphan people poor people and orphan children from inheritance <clears throat> it is recommended to give something to poor people and orphan children from the inheritance. So who is the next Mr. Tenko? Tell me the answer for this question number four. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, yeah, it is recommended that something be given the poor people and uh, the orphan from the inheritance, but it's not a necessity. Okay, good. So we have these questions and always keep a notebook in the class. I, all of you, this will benefit inshallah. So now our time is finished almost. If anybody has any question, they can ask me. I have a question. Yes, please. Sorry? I said well, the, the, the verse we started from. The verse we started with. Okay, we started Today. from verse number four. Five. Number five? Uh -huh. Number four. We started from the four. And... Okay, but let's look, let's look at the number five. Number five. Sorry? Sorry. Number five. Yes, here it is five. Uh, it says, and give not unto the foolish your property. So here, no, I don't understand. Is it the prop my property or the property of the orphans? Because he said, don't give not and give not unto the foolish your property, which Allah has made as a means of support for you, but feed and clothe them with and speak to them words of kindness and justice. So my my question is. The property here, and is it for me or that of the orphan? Good question. Usually, the scholar translates it as dead property. For example, let me give you a practical example. Let's suppose you have a brother, he has a hundred sheep, 50 cows. Now, these are the property of your brother. Maybe he died because of some sickness before the death he gave this to you and asked you to take care of it and protect it and then return to your children or then return to his children when they will grow up so usually now what happens since you are the owner of this property at the moment so you will take full benefit from it like you will take your share so that's why it is uh, usually translated as your property but in reality it is for you only for a specific period of time then it will become the right of the orphan children that your brother has left oh, okay. thank you very much. the next uh, ayah number six explains the meaning of this ayah because this ayah alone we think that whether this property belongs to us or someone else but the next ayah makes it clear that it belongs to the children. Okay. Anybody else? 
Okay. See you all next time, inshallah. Rabbana takar. When is the next meeting? Sorry? The next meeting. When is the next meeting? After, next after three hours, we have a hadith class. Inshallah, we'll be in the hadith class after three hours. See you all next time, inshallah. Ma